Hello and welcome to another Let's Play with me, Punkimo Andy. Um, so today we just need, I'm just going to discuss something first of all. There's a couple of plans for today's episode. I am going to be looking at building a stone generator uh, over in the industrial district. As well as, I'm going to go over three farms today. The glowberry farm as well and a sweetberry farm. Uh, on top. However, I need to discuss this uh, farm here. Since the 1.13, uh, 1.18.30 update, uh, this one was already covered up because I turned to witches. However, the other three pods are completely empty. Um, the update has destroyed my iron farm. So, um, yeah, so I need to get that sorted at some point in the near future. Very near future, because I will be running out of iron otherwise. I'm thinking uh, I'm going to be live streaming that. So by the time this episode is out, I will hopefully have a new design. And I want one that's as efficient as the Iron Titan on Java. And I believe I can do it. Um... I'll show you in this episode as to why I believe it's possible. So on Java, you the Iron Titan spawns anywhere between 15 and 30 Iron Golems, I believe it is, um, per spawn cycle. I'm just going to get over to the village first of all. Uh, that I am referring to as to my point of reference. So yeah, I'm on the uh, Golden Cats. I've been doing a load of trading at the uh, main village. <laughs> I got the only proper trading village on the server. Things keep despawning in there as well. Um, but well, villagers keep despawning. Then you get loads of babies, and yeah. But yeah, that, if I hop through into that village, you'll see as to why I'm coming from for the Iron Titan. A couple of villagers have come through here. They shouldn't have done. Stone mason. How about you get through there and you take out... Thank you. And then you can take out the uncle on the other side. Sorry, I was a bit slow there. Don't know why, but... Let's head on through here, and as you can see, I ain't got to do a fish. I'll leave you in there so you can deal with any more that come through. So yeah, as you can see, there is a ton of villagers in here, and there will be a ton of iron golems, or well, they used to be. So you get there isn't a ton of iron golems anymore. There used to be like ten iron golems in this village. So one, two. Three, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That'll count as one. Nine. So yeah, there is quite a few here. There's about two hundred villagers here as well. So I feel it is perfectly possible. I wish it was not on the outside. It is perfectly possible to build the Iron Titan on bedrock. That is my mission. And I hope to accomplish it. Um, so yeah, I'm going to give that a go in live streams. I will... Today's episode, I'm going to get on, grab some uh, resources and head on over to the industrial district. And get the um, stone generator berry, uh, berry, sweet berry farm and glow berry farm all built. And I will be back, if I can get my face right. In a couple of minutes, guys. And I'm back. So in between recordings, I've managed to get all the all three farms completed. I am just going to make you aware now that I've also updated my graphics driver in between recordings. So hopefully performance is going to be still okay. I've had issues in the past with updating. It's gone downhill. <laughs> Uh, but I'm hoping it's going to be okay today, so we can only hope. 
So, uh, the three farms I've done are Stone, Sweetberry, and Glowberry farms. Um, let's just grab... In fact, let's talk through the Stone farm first, and then we'll come back to the Berries. The story system for all three is down there, which we will see in a minute. We've got a line of hoppers going down into the story system. To work this farm, all you have to do is mine out. And you're thinking, hang on, it's not regenerating. Well, if I need to regenerate, you flick the switch. And because of the way I've designed... Have I got my fortune pick? Two six. Yes, I do. Because I went deep slate mining in between episodes. So, you can see there was a couple coming out of that. But if you just want normal... Obviously, just my silk touch pickaxe, and you can get stone. And I don't know why there was lava showing there because there's no lava on this bit, it's all down either end. And this is at the end of the thing, and obviously, you can go down there. And what is going on? Don't tell me it's already broke. That was weird bedrock glitches with redstone, but yeah, the stone will push it into these. And let's turn that off yeah the stone will push it into the hoppers which will feed down into the story system right now with the other farms we are going to take a quick detour because they work slightly differently so you do need some bone meal so let's put this farm to use down here the good old fashioned converter farm do i have a ton of bows for I don't need all of that to demonstrate. Let's turn all this into bone mill. I realise out of my storage system it's already a quarter full and it's probably mainly bows, so I've got to bring some cobble down at some point and turn it all into dispensers. So I think it's a bit of cobble and I'll find a bit of redstone for the recipe. Um and then add the bow in and convert it all to dispensers whilst I'm down there. It's the easiest way to get dispensers, just do it at uh, your skelly farm. So if I come on to these ones, so we we'll start off with this is the glowberry one. To get the glowberry to work, all you do is feed that in there, and you just stand here and hold right click. This works in much the same way as the flower farm. Um, it's the same hopper clock. Sorry, my phone's going off. I thought I'd put that on silent. There we go, some something else, so I won't interrupt the recording. But yeah, you just stand here, hold right click, and it will harvest the berries, collecting it in the minecart hopper below. Of course, if you don't uh, do it, the I don't think it uses bone mill whilst you're not, whilst it's not available. So I think they'll be just over a stack below, if I remember. And the same applies to the uh, sweet berry bushes, obviously, harvest, and they go down below. To the mic up, I just bought a stack in there this time. Somebody displaying its purpose, yeah. You just stand here, hold it, right click, and it will pick it up from below. Occasionally, they will come to you in some ways. That is handy because that means if you're doing like a long AFK session, you'll end up eating the berries and. Not relinquishing, relinquishing any hunger. That is my standard dispenser clock. This farm, on the other hand, is different. I hop in here. A clock designed by my eight-year-old son to get this working. He discovered about a quick pulse clock. And not using observers, so it's slower than an observer clock. So it just goes in, out, in, out, in, out. Where you just place a bit of redstone there and a redstone dust there, and it will just constantly uh, go in and out very quickly, not as quickly as an observer clock. Uh, I've extended that slightly by adding in two repeaters to get the timing perfect. I have behind these observers um, waterlogged pistons, which is exclusive to the bedrock edition, and then two blocks up there is. Uh, lava so it all drains down in and if I go into here click here, here and there you can see the lava above 
I need to quickly flick that switch, or else I'm going to burn. No, I won't, because I've got that trap door there. I'll learn my lesson for my test world. That's why I've got a trap door there, so I can break in and see if things are working properly. And if I do that, it should hopefully fix it. Yes, see, it's fixed. This can be sped up using um, a beacon, so you get even more drops. Um, I did have a beacon on top when testing it out. Yeah, be a little bit careful with using um, obsidian then. You'd need probably need to switch over to something like wood on this end. You can't do wood at that end because of the lava. So yeah, the storage system is down here at the moment. All filters through to into this last chest. So you can see the cobble. I've got tons of storage behind here. And then obviously on the bottom row, what I've done is I've fed a bottom row up at all up a line all the way down into a single chest. So you're always going to, to make sure you empty it from there. This is the sweet berry. One mistake from earlier. You can see it all goes into here. And the same for the glow berry all into here. So what um so that is um pretty much it for displaying off on this um episode today guys. Um I need to extend the feet down on that still at some point. Um so what is happening and coming up? Um I currently do not have any plans, uh immediate plans. We've got long term plans for the episode, but no immediate plans. So as for the next episode, I'm not entirely sure. Um, I'm possibly going to be looking at sea pickle farm. It's probably going to be my uh, next um, choice. Um, I do obviously have the sad news regarding the iron farm where the village is despawned. So I need to create a new one. And I am going for Bedrock Edition Iron Titan. Not developed yet. But I know there is a chance. Um, by the time this episode comes out... I should have done extensive testing on my um, test world uh, in live streams. So that is something. I just need to remember where there's a zombie spawner. Because I know there's plenty of spider spawners around, but there's also a zombie spawner somewhere. I've marked all the, spa all the spawners I've found out so far with the scaffolding towers. So it shouldn't take long to find. If Once I find it. That will be where the iron pond's built. It is going to be built over here. Why a zombie spawner? Uh, the simple reason is zombie villagers. Easier to cure and easier to make sure you populate the village right. Also ensures that you keep everything in a separate cell. And, and when things do go wrong, because it is better condition, so it will go wrong <laughs> uh, with villager despawns. It's easy enough to link back up the beds always in the central position so they link but they don't need to go up to the bed to link it uh the workstations all you would do is you would remove every single workstation and then repopulate it one by one with the workstations separating all the villages means they don't breed having the same issue with the linking so what i will do for now is i am going to call it here today guys so obviously thanks for watching don't forget if you are liking the video to like share and subscribe don't forget to catch my live streams uh mainly on youtube um if i do do them they're usually around 2 p.m uk time uh alternatively i do i will occasionally stream to twitch and um, with the twitch live streams though I'm going to try my best to keep them away from Minecraft. Um, so there'll be other games, as my YouTube is mainly for Minecraft. So thanks for watching, and I will catch you in the next one. Bye!